Good evening. It is supposed to be Saturday morning stories, but time slipped away today. So this is Saturday evening stories. And we have Cyrus Chestnut playing in the background. I think he had a new project called My Father's Hands from last year. Didn't know about it. I am a fan of Cyrus Chestnut. And I know that his um, father, I believe, was a minister and a musician. And um, he was his inspiration. So enjoy the background music as we delve into this beautiful story, Harlem, by another father-son duo, Walter Dean Myers. Walter Dean Myers, a prolific author, writer, and his son, oh my goodness, a phenomenal illustrator, artist, Christopher Myers. So, oh, what a treat. And yeah, yeah, this is a Caldecott honored book. So woo, let's have some fun with this. Harlem. Yes. And like I said, Walter Dean Myers and his son, Christopher. Let's see if I can angle this in a way. So you see the dead and the sun. And that's something I went to a home going celebration service of a young man earlier today. And his son spoke. The son couldn't be more than four years old, you know, as far as remarks from the family. And he pretty much said, I am my father. All right. I take after my father and pretty much the four-year-old was saying of his 26-year-old deceased dad that I'm going to continue the legacy. So the same for T Cyrus Chestnut, the same for Christopher Myers, I believe Walter Dean Myers. Uh, father was um, a legend as far as the literary circles. So let's just celebrate men. Hey. They took to the road in Waycross, Georgia skipped over the tracks in East St. Louis, took the bus from Holly Springs, hitched a ride from G's Bend, took the long way through Memphis. Ah, that's where my dad was born, Memphis, Tennessee. The third deck down from Trinidad, a wrench of heart from Gory Island, a wrench of heart from Gory Island to a place called Harlem. Yeah, Harlem has changed, so from the Renaissance, but look at these masterful mixed collage masterpieces. Oh, Christopher Myers. Let's look at this first. Harlem was a promise of a better life, of a place where a man didn't have to know his place simply because he was black. Mm. They brought a call, a song, first heard in the village of Ghana, Mali, Senegal. Calls and songs and shouts, heavy-hearted tambourine rhythms, loosed in the hard city like a scream torn from the throat of an ancient clarinet. A new sound, raucous and sassy, cascading over the asphalt village, breaking against the black sky over 125 Street. Announcing hallelujah, rifting past resolution. Hmm. Yellow, tan, let's look closely. Yellow, tan, brown, black, red, green, gray, bright, colors loud enough to be heard. Light on asphalt streets, sun, yellow shirts, unburnt umber bodies, Demanding to be heard, seen, sending out warriors. From streets that know to be, morning still, as a lone radio tells us how Jack Johnson, Joe Lewis, Sugar Ray is doing with our hopes. Listening. Yeah, it's boxing matches. Oh my goodness. 
see these beautiful pictures? Look at this. We hope, we pray, our black skins reflecting the face of God. In storefront temples, Jive and Jehovah artists lay out the human canvas. The human canvas, the mood indigo. We hope, we pray. Yeah. This is our legacy. Let's look at this. A chorus of summer herbs, of mangoes and barbecue, of perfumed sisters, hip strutting past fried fish joints on Lenox Avenue in steamy August. A carnival of children, people, the daytime streets, ring livio warriors, stickball heroes hide and seek knights and ladies waiting to sing their own sweet songs, living out their own slam dunk dreams, listening for the coming of the blues. Mm. A weary blues that Langston knew and Countess sung a river of blues where Dubois waited and Baldwin preached. There is lilt, temple, cadence, a language of darkness, darkness known, darkness sharpened at Minton's, darkness lightened at the Cotton Club, sent flying from Abyssinian Baptist to the Apollo. Yeah, we know Abyssinian Baptist Church is that historic monument they just recently lost their pastor praying for the folks let's look here the uptown a rattles past 110th street unreal to real relaxing the soul shangle and jesus asante and mende one people a hundred different people huddled masses and crowded dreams Mm, this is familiar. Squares, blocks, bricks, fat, round woman in a rectangle. Sunday night gospel. Precious Lord, take my hand. Lead me on, let me stand. Thomas Dorsey. Caught by a full-lipped, full-hipped, saint washing collard greens in a cracked porcelain sink. Backing up Lady Day on the radio. Oh, yeah, we're talking a heritage of music and art. Look at this. Look at this. Brother so black and blue, patting a wide foot outside, too hot. Walk up. Boy, you ought to find the guy you told you could play some checkers because he done lied to you. <laughs> Cracked reeds, soprano sax, laughter floats over a fleet of funeral cars. Mm, yeah, a casket with the gloves. Yeah. It's part of life. Yeah. Beautiful collages. Reminds me of, like I said, the celebration of life that I witness earlier I've never seen so many young people in a room in a memorial and it, it, it was fascinating to see like I said the young man was um, in his middle 20s and he was such a magnet he impacted his generation so it doesn't matter what's your age you can make a difference and be a force out here Let's look at this, just like this little young man in his den. In Harlem, sparrows sit on fire escapes outside of rent parties to learn the tunes. In Harlem, the wind doesn't blow past smalls. It stops to listen to the sounds. We know rent parties were fundraisers. Yeah, to raise monies so that people could you know, live in their spaces. Serious business. 
a poem, Rhapsody, Trip It Along, Strivers Row, Not Getting Its Metric Feet Soiled, on the Well Swept Walks, Hustling Through the Hard Rain at 2 o'clock in the morning to its next gig. So, sound like the night was just beginning. Where for some of us, we don't leave the house after six o'clock in the evening. Now let's look at this. Ah, a huddle of horns and a tinkle of glass, a note handed down from Marcus to Malcolm, to a brother too bad and too cool to give his name. Sometimes despair makes the stoop shudder. Sometimes there are endless depths of pain, singing a cappella on the street corners. And sometimes not. Hmm. A whole range of emotions. Just look at this. Sometimes it is the artist looking into a mirror, painting a portrait of his own heart. Place, sound, celebration, memories of feelings of place. A journey on the A train that started on the banks of the Niger and has not ended. Yeah. Well done. Ah. And the last page. It says West 125th Street, Dr. Martin Luther Boulevard. And it ends with simply the word Harlem. Beautiful. And there you have it. From the back to the front. Like I said, if you have time, look up that dynamic duel, Walter Dean Myers and Christopher Myers. They have a compelling story. So many great literary and artistic works. As far as dedication, Walter Dean Myers said, to the memory of my foster parents, didn't know that, Herbert and Florence Dean, they were impactful in his life. And as far as Christopher Myers, his dedication says, to mom and dad, because I like you people. <laughs> this was published, produced in 1997 and printed in 1998. This is such a classic. I hope you have time to, you know, make your own collages, your mixed media art, and jot down what's special about the place that you were raised up in as far as your surroundings and you might not have been in Harlem New York maybe it was the south side of Chicago maybe it was the west side like my mother Inglewood like my father wherever it is special because you came from there and jot down some great memories because um, it's important to pass it to the next generation okay hope you have a wonderful evening and make a difference and make sure that you connect and make great relationships with the people who are in your life. Enjoy.